Good evening, folks. 10 June. And we got a big one coming up tonight. This is exciting. Uh, I'm on my own for this one tonight. Jenny and Hayden just left to go out and run a 6K in the rain. Um, yeah. Not my uh, cup of tea. But it is, uh, it's, a, it's a constant drizzle here in Alaska tonight. And uh, they decided they want to go run a 6K tonight. So, hey, good on them. They just left to do it. Uh, I am super, super thrilled about this break. This is one we've been waiting on for a couple days. I uh, appreciate every one of you for helping fill this. Uh, this is awesome. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people in this uh, break tonight <laughs> that, uh, that have helped us uh, realize uh, our vision and dream to make this group a, a possibility. And I hope that you guys are having as good a time uh, doing this as we are because this has been a lot of fun for us over the past couple of months. I really do appreciate every one of you um, being involved in this. Um, yeah, let's open some cards. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, know, uh, I don't know anything about basketball, baseball, or football. Um, always been a hockey player. Uh, always, you know, re really recently kind of took the hockey collecting up a, up a little bit just as, as Hayden starts to hit his stride and uh, can appreciate it. But um, yeah, we uh we don't know anything about baseball, basketball, or football, but I've heard that uh as far as uh as far as uh card collecting as a sport or hobby goes, uh that hockey's kind of like the minority um as far as like how far you can get into it. Um I've heard that basketball, apparently there was like some basketball release or something a couple weeks ago. It was called like Mosaic, I think. And I walked into our distributor to pick up uh, one of our shipments. And I thought I was a big dog in town picking up, you know, a, a giant shipment of hockey cards. Turns out each one of those little boxes was selling for like $600 or $700. And there were dudes lined up out the door to pick those up. Uh, so that was a humbling experience. Um, yeah. So <laughs> baseball is big with this Mike Trout character. Uh, basketball, the Zion Williamson, I, I now know his name. I don't know who he is or what he does. Apparently he's an athlete and he does well. Uh, supposed to be the next uh, whoever <laughs> from basketball, but cool. Uh, I guess Connor McDavid is just standing in the shadows compared, compared to these dudes. So, uh, man, okay. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Everybody hear me? Give me a thumbs up. You can hear me okay. And I'll get this roster read and we'll get into some boxes. I'm excited. Everybody excited about this uh, game use, or are you ex more excited about the another sealed inner of nine two three two nine? There, everybody knows what that is. Give me a thumbs up, and we'll get going. Yeah, let's get to some hockey, huh? I, you know, I so I don't know. Is it is it Zion, is Zion Williamson? Is it does he play basketball, or is he a field goal kicker for the football teams? Or is he uh, an F1 driver? I can't figure it out. I heard through the grapevine he might be a UFC fighter as well. So he's he's got the reach for it. <clears throat> All right, folks, let's do it. Let me fire up the iPad here. And we got a great lineup tonight. 152. Here it is. All right, Anaheim Ducks pushing to the mini. Coyotes going to Ray Rangel. Boston Bruins, Larry Resch. Buffalo Sabres, Corey Rodriguez getting in there. Calgary Flames, Sean Heckman. Hurricanes going to Jonathan Gerber. Blackhawks going to Brad Garner. Avalanche with Justin Connor going with the Avalanche tonight. This could be good. Blue Jackets going to Jamie Marantate. In addition to, uh, I, I don't think he was able to get his home team on this one, so he, he took up the Blue Jackets. Dallas Stars going to Sean Heckman. Red Wings going to Cynthia Antonio. My wife, who's out on a run right now, took the Oilers. We'll see how that works out for her. Florida Panthers go to the Mini. Uh, Kings go to Justin Connors. Minnesota Wild go to the Mini. Sean Heckman took the Canadians. We'll see. This is going to be good. Canadians always have cards. Nashville Predators go to Ray Rangel. He took, he took our secondary team. That's okay. New Jersey Devils, Philip Nascimento as usual. The Islanders going to the Mini. The Rangers going to Larry Resch. Hayden actually pulled a pretty cool Rangers card earlier out of a, out of a, a hobby box of artifacts. Uh, Ottawa Senators going to the Mini. Man, the Senators too. Senators, this Mini might be hot tonight. 
with the with the Canadians and the Senators, and their Senators always pull some cards too. They're sneaky. The Flyers going to Sean Heckman. Penguins, Brian DeGrace. Resident, resident Sharks expert, Justin Connerth. A little typo there, not Justine Connerth. Justin Connerth. I have to type these rosters out extremely fast to make these deadlines, folks, for you. So please give me a little forgiveness. <laughs> St. Louis Blues, Denver Lewis. I know what she's chasing. Tampa Bay Lightning going to the mini. Maple Leafs going to Ralph Mao. Vancouver Canucks going to Ray Rangel. VGK going to Cynthia Antonio. That's a hot team right now, too. Holy smokes, have we pulled some sick, some sick Golden Knights cards lately. The Caps going to Curtis Warner and the Jets going to the mini. All right, so in the mini tonight, we've got a 17 mini, folks. The Ducks, the Panthers, the Wild, the Islanders, the Senators, the TBL, Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Jets. All right, digit one. Larry Resch, digit two, Brad Garner, digit three, Curtis Warner, digit four, Brad Garner, digit five, Tommy Holmesberger, welcome back. Six, Brian DeGray, seven, Sean Heckman, eight, Curtis Warner, nine and zero, Sean Heckman, and the ever-important wild card slot tonight goes to Jamie Marin Tate. Anything coming out for those seven teams that does not have a serial number on it is going to Jamie Marin Tate, and it will be sending to Canada. All right, 30 seconds, and we're going to get going. Uh, right here, SP Game Use box number one for break 152. Don't forget, folks, we got 153 open right now. I believe there's maybe 15 teams left. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get that one open, too. Huh? I got it lined up, ready to go right here. It's, uh, it's all set. All set in stone. Got it on the on the, on the on the on deck shelf. 153. There it is. You guys close it. I'll throw it to a mini and we'll get it done. I'm here all night. You let me know. And I think everybody saw my post this morning. Just found out that the U.S. Army has a four-day weekend this weekend. So guess what I'm doing? Breaking cards all weekend. It's going to be awesome. Let's do it. 30 seconds. We'll go live. All right, and we're back. Give me a thumbs up. You can hear me. And uh, yeah, Philippe, absolutely. Uh, or you can DM me directly. Um, my inventory changes darn near daily. So uh, I make a, I'm making about three, four runs to the distributor a week. Um, so if you can, you got some, if it's not something I have in stock, like our regular stuff, uh, I can usually get it. So you just let me know what you're looking for and I can get it. Um, it's usually pretty reasonably priced and I always include shipping. Um, yeah, we can get you, we can get you hooked up. Yeah, <laughs> good deals for 20 box mixers. Yeah. Give them a hundred DDMs. Three, uh, man. Yeah. We can do some big ones if you want. Yeah. Oh, I can get ultimate. Absolutely. hundred percent. I can get, I can get anything you want. Uh, going back five or six years. In fact, I got we got a personal collection of hobby boxes as well that I've already tapped into a few times for you guys. Uh, you just got to let me know what you want. You know, kind of get out there, sniff around, feel what you want to plus up your PC with, where your uh, your personal collection cards are at um, out there if you're still chasing them. And um, 
you know, I can go out and find you just about anything. And I'm pretty good. Uh, for, <laughs> fortunately, I've got some pretty good negotiating skills. So uh, I can I can get you just about the best price you're going to find anywhere. Uh, and if you don't mind, we'll open it up live on uh, on a stream for you. So this is going to be a good one, folks. Who's ready? Anybody else ready? Yeah, Ultimate Hockey we can definitely get. You let me know what you want, what year. If you're looking for 1920 or 1819, 1718, we can absolutely get that for you. Yeah, let me know what you want. All right. What do we got? 0506 Upper Deck. Yes, so 0506 I can absolutely get. But you know who's your, you know who two dudes uh, fell into that rookie year. So 0506 and 1516 anything. Are, uh, are very, very expensive. Now, that's not to say that we don't want to do them because I'd love to be involved in something like that. Um, but holy smokes, like uh, even even at the like the distributing price, like if I can if I can get in there, if I can get face to face and start negotiating some of these prices with people, I usually come out on top. But 1516 and 0506 are going to be some hard. Uh, there's going to be some sweat put into that negotiating. But uh, if you want it, you let me know. I'll pursue it. Yeah, about five million a box. I don't know. I came out on top with that fifteen sixteen I went after for you guys. Here we go. Let's do this. Who's ready? You guys ready? Let's get this first box of game used open up. Keep on talking though. I'm watching. I'm I'm watching the the trash bin. I'm watching the pro over here. All the protection. I'm cutting open boxes and I'm also watching the live chat here because I don't have Hayden to help me. Uh, yeah, OV I think was series two. He's a late release in that year. I don't I don't know. Um, I got to go back and I'd have to go to my my uh, official uh, list over there, i.e. www.cardboardconnection.com and figure it out. But yes, yeah, Sid, uh, Sid from what I remember is series one. But any of those two guys out of that year is going to be some sick sick heat. All right, folks, here we go. Nice. Let's get this break started. There's your first pack right away. And we're going to take, we're going to get some, get some, uh, some display stands behind. Because you know we're going to be pulling some sick, sick heat out of these packs. Let's get moving. All right. Who's ready? Game used. Here we go. A sealed inner of uh, Black Diamond and essentially half of a sealed inner of Game Used. That came out uh, about a week ago. Cut, cut, had to cut open some boxes to give give out to some some breaks and some people for personal breaks. So we got five boxes each going tonight. Rock and roll. Quinn Hughes would be nice. Yeah, Rays lined up against the Canucks. Quinn Hughes would be nice. All right, let's do it. Let's get into box number one. Let's see what we got. Here it is, folks. First card coming out right away. There it is. For the Habs, Sean Heckman. There's a Brendan Gallagher. Habs are always making an appearance. Always making an appearance. Brendan Gallagher, number 275. This is number 111. Brendan Gallagher. Let's get that. I'll try to keep up with the protection tonight as we move along. Got 10 boxes to go through. This is going to be a good one. Brendan Gallagher right off the bat going to Sean Heckman. Yeah, fat Philippe. If you want to see Jack Hughes, I'd like to see them both. How about that? I'd like to see both, excuse me, make an appearance. Hayden pulled a Quinn Hughes uh, SOB on Easter morning. I'd love to see another one of those. That is a beautiful card we've got in Hayden's PC right now. And there's a Colton White. So there's a Devil. It's not Jack Hughes, but that is a Devil going to Philippe Nascimento. It's an authentic rookie, 62 of 115. There you go. So we're getting closer to the Hughes brothers. Not in kind, but in team. Not Or not in kin, I guess. Not in kin, but in team. We got an authentic rookie, Colton White for the Devils. There you go, Philippe Nascimento. A lot of people watching tonight. Let's give him a good show. What do you guys think? Next up, how about... Oh, baby, look at that. Beautiful patch. All-Star Fabrics for the Vegas Golden Knights, Cynthia Antonio. I, so there's so much gold on this card, I, can't, I can almost not even see what it's numbered to because it's gold as well. But what a beauty this is. I'm going to say, before confirming via camera, 2 out of 35. 
for Cynthia Antonio. There is a beauty right there. Vegas Golden Knights. You know, I actually woke up this morning and looked at, uh, and thought about looking at this break, and I had these hopes. I was thinking to myself, I was like, yeah, Jennifer's already got the Oilers. Maybe I, myself and Hayden should take somebody. And I, I, woke, I actually, no joke, woke up this morning and said to myself, I think the Knights are still available. And then I looked, and they weren't. <laughs> and thank goodness, because Cynthia Antonio takes that butte home. How about that? Look at that math. Nice little premium. And yes, for sure, it's a tricolor. 100%. Tricolor number to 35. I'm excited about that card. That's a cool card. I love it. What a beaut. Next one coming out is going to Philip Zadina. Cynthia Antonio again. There's a rookie sweater, Philip Zadina, numbered 11 of 199. Philip Zadina. There you go. Back to back, Cynthia Antonio's. Good picking tonight. Cynthia Antonio taking two cards in a row home there. Two cards in a row. Get that sleeved up for you. And I'm going to go back and grab a nice little sleeve for Mr. Marc Andre Fleury. I got plenty of 180s on standby because we are going to need them, folks. Black Diamond and SP Game is producing tonight. Producing. Oh, uh, yeah. He's going to tell Steve, I'm sure. They're good buddies. Found that out earlier this week. Fifth card, first box. How about it? For the Flyers, Scott Lawton. Stadium Series Fabrics. There we go. Sean Heckman again. Beauty. Sean Heckman. Philadelphia Flyers. Scott Lawton. Stadium Series Fabrics. I love those jerseys. Those unis are nice. Absolute beaut. I love the Stadium Series stuff. The way they make it look. In fact, we've got a Jamie Benn jersey. I wish I could pan the camera. About 16 feet to my left, I've got a Jamie Benn 2019-20. Actually, it would be 2020 Winter Classic. I'm reading the patch on it right now. Jamie Benn Stadium Series jersey off, off, off there. It was the one where uh, I think it was Corey Perry put Ryan Ellis out of the game. Absolute beaut. Love Stadium Series, everything. Here we go. Last card, first box. Let's bring it home for Dante Fabro. <laughs> jersey card for the Preds. Ray Rangel. 521 number to 599. Dante Fabro in the house. Our probably I think that's our high, most highly collected rookie in our PC this year has been Dante Fabro. Look at that bad mamma jamma right there. A little blue jersey card. Butte. 521 to 599. All right, there's our first box. Not bad at all. First box, folks. Let's get a let's get a let me get a little Hundo point oh on this. Hundo point oh, get her, get him, get the rookie, the gold foil rookie sleeved up. Followed a Scott Lawton, Philip Zadina rookie sweater, Cynthia Antonio, and this bad boy right there. How about that beaut? Two of thirty-five. Colton White for Nascimento, and Brennan Gallagher for Sean Heckman. The Habs are always going to produce. Nobody seems to like the Habs in this group, but my goodness, do they push some cards? Box number two, SP Game News, coming up right now. Cynthia Antonio. Beautiful. The box hit. Box hit for Math. Marc-Andre Fleury for the Vegas Golden Knights. A little box hit. I call that the box hit. It's a solid. Number to 35. Beautiful tricolor for an elite goalie. Elite goalie like Marc-Andre Fleury. That's a good one to write home about. Let's get this. Uh, let's get the second box open. Ah, love these breaks. What do you guys want next? After this, we're only gonna have one live break open. I gotta post something else. What do you want? Tell me what you want. You know what we have anything. I got everything in stock right now. You tell me what you want. Lock diamond artifacts, game use, SPX, more. Well, heck, we can even pull some more trilogy. If we want to we open a, a, a personal box for Sean Heckman yesterday. Of trilogy, first box we've opened this year. It was fantastic. Absolute beaut. Card I never even knew existed came out of that box yesterday. And it was fantastic. He can vouch for it in the comments if he wants to. It was a beautiful card. Uh, beautiful box. That whole break for him was phenomenal. It was, it was just absolutely great. And it was the first box of Trilogy we'd open. So uh, you name it, we got it. <laughs> I, can, I can do it. Just tell me what you guys want. 
big breaks. You want another smaller three boxer? We can do 10 boxers. We can do 20 boxers. Black diamond for years around here. You tell me what you want. Let's get another one going tonight. All right, first card, second box of game use. Here it comes right now. It's going to the Blue Jackets. Jamie Marintate, Vladislav Gavrikov, 56 out of 295 authentic rookie. Very nice. Very, very nice. The Blue Jackets, my hometown, just north of Columbus, Ohio. We've lived in quite a few hockey towns. Quite a few hockey towns. Yeah, I, I, I'm still drooling. About, I was, the, the mailman almost had to pry that box out of my hands today. But I did, I did. You, you, you had a black, blue jacket hit from last night. So I did the right thing. I sliced it open, the box open, and I slipped in that blue jacket hit to move to you today. And it's on its way to you right now. Uh, it should be a two or three day maximum push to you. We send, uh, we send our personal breaks. Um, we, we, I, I, I tell you what, I, I, I tell you guys for personal breaks, you know, the, the standard and bad, bad Yorkie card breaks is uh, first class parcel. But I'm telling you right now, out of the dozens of personal breaks we've done so far, I am yet to send one first class parcel. I will always send them to you guys as long as I physically can. I will send them to your priority mail because I know it's they're, they don't belong to me. The, 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 the methodology around here is that these cards are yours. All this stuff you see on this camera, it all belongs to you guys. It is your, they are your cards, your investments, your personal collection cards, or you know whatever you decide to do them. Some people flip them, some people churn them pretty quick. Uh, we, don't, we don't sell anything in our personal collection. We, we, we keep it. We do a little bit of trading uh, every now and then. Um, for you know either the Oilers or the Preds, but we've got a pretty good personal collection of all 31 teams in the NHL right now, just on standby for trading towards the Oilers and the Preds. But I want your cards to be in your hands. I hate waiting for stuff, and I, I'm sorry for the the Canadians that are in the group tonight because there's nothing I can do about Canada Post and USPS taking their sweet time at customs with your stuff. But the faster I can get it to the border, the better for you guys. That's our promise here. That's what I think sets us apart from everywhere else. So here we go. Next up is coming. How about a Clayton Keller? 221 out of 275 for the Coyotes. Ray Rangel. There you go. There's another one for you, Ray. Clayton Keller, 221 out of 275. Little, little variant. Look at the rainbow action. That is a beautiful card right there. Clayton Keller, phenomenal player this year. Awesome. Coyotes and Blue Jackets coming out quick. And... Next up, here we go. What's up now? We got a ho oh, oh, baby. Sidney Crosby for Brian DeGrace. All-star tricolor fabric. Numbered 15 of 15, buddy. Brian DeGrace. Snagging those penguins and coming up with a 2019 NHL All-Stars skills competition. Relic Blend, a big old juicer of a card. Tricolor, the kid, Sid Crosby. Oh, man, look at that card. I have seen the McDavid variant of this, and it is beautiful, and this one is equally as beautiful. Brian DeGrace, what a hit right there, buddy. And that is true. 15 of 15. Wow. There you go, buddy. How about it? There you go, Brian DeGrace. Let's keep this, let's keep this going. Who's having fun tonight? This is great. Cards galore already. Next up, hey, there's a Nico Sturm. Relic blend for the wild. Went to the mini. Let's go to number three, Curtis Warner. Curtis Warner for the Nico Sturm. Numbered 43 of 125. 2019 Rookie Relic Blend for the Minnesota Wild, Nico Sturm. Curtis Warner. Nice. Give us a thumbs up if you're in here tonight, buddy. That's a cool card. I love this. I've talked about it before because we hit one, I think, for the Preds uh, about a dozen or two breaks ago. And it's it, these are obviously, these are laser etched. You can see the burn marks on them. It's absolutely beautiful how they create these cards. They're just so clean and so neat cut. I love it. That's going to Curtis Warner in the mini. The mini is producing. Second box action. 
bunch of all-star action. Here we go. Yeah, pull some Leafs. Let's see. How about a Ryan O'Reilly? I think I knew who that's going to. Jennifer Lewis. There's another, another skills competition relic blend. Holy smokes, these are hot tonight. 22 of 125 going to Jennifer Lewis. Ryan O'Reilly variant, 22 out of 125 for their PC. I believe that's probably going to her son, his PC. He, uh, young guy, collects the blues. The blues. Look at that. Back to back to back skills competitions. Awesome. Nice. Brandon's in the house. Brandon Leston in the house. Welcome, buddy. Good to see you. I know there's like a, there's a few other breaks you're probably involved with tonight. Good to see you in here tonight, though. Very nice. Card six, box two. Here we go. And it's the Rangers. It's an authentic rookie for the Rangers, Ryan Lindgren. Ryan Lindgren going to Larry Resch. I believe they call him the Colonel. 254 to 599. Somebody's got to explain to me why they call him the Colonel. You know, being an active duty army soldier, the colonel, you hear the colonel, everybody's ears perks up. I got to know, what, what's up What's up with the colonel? Got some war stories to tell. Hopefully they're on ice war stories. Everybody, every one of us hockey players has a few of those. Ryan Lingering going to Larry Resch. Very nice, bud. To review, Larry Resch takes that. Jennifer Lewis is going to take home the Ryan O'Reilly. Nico Sturm goes to the mini, and that's going to be a Curtis Warner card. Here we go. Look at this beauty of a Sidney Crosby. 15 of 15 for the Penguins. Brian DeGrace. Clayton Keller going to resident Arizona Coyotes expert Ray Rangel. And Vladislav Gavrikov going to Jamie Marion Tate. All right, box two. So many hits, and we're not even, we're just barely two boxes in, folks. All right, Brandon. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Who's ready for box number three? I sure am. I am ready for box number three, four, five, and then five boxes of black diamond. Rock and roll. Oh, this is so good. So good. Love it. Love these cards. Even though we haven't seen a single Oilers yet, Jennifer, she'll be fine. She'll survive. She'll survive. We are providing some significant hits to our members tonight. This is great. How about that Sid 15 of 15 just came out? I think we're due for some, some autos. Who's ready for some autos? I'm ready for some autos. They're my favorite. Patch autos and autos. Love them. Let's get some autos going, huh? Let's see some signatures. Let's see some big name signatures. Some big guys. Let's get some, uh, some, some top line action going on from the 31. Let's see what we can get going here. All right, box number three, SP game used. Yeah, we need some leaves. We need some Oilers. We need a few other teams to show up. But guess what we got coming, folks? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got 30 cards in that bad boy, including the five exquisite packs, which have been unreal lately. Exquisite packs. Unreal. Exquisite packs. Let's do it. Let's do it. First card, third box, coming out right now. Boom. Barkov for the Panthers. Barkov for the Panthers. Did they push the mini? They did. Number three, there's another Curtis Warner hit. Alexander Barkov, three of 275. Super low serial on that one. Super low. Barkov, push into the mini, going to Curtis Warner. Number three is good tonight. There you go, buddy. Curtis Warner. Alexander Barkov. Here we go. Card numero duo coming out. Hey, there's another Sens hit. And that's a Sens hit going to the mini. Number four, Brad Garner, Scott Saborin. Brad Garner picks up a Scott Saborin, authentic rookies. Number to 119. 34 to 119 goes to Brad Garner. That's sleeved up for you, buddy. All right, before we get in the heat, I got to take a sip of my drink. Here we go. Oh, Jonathan Gerber firing some, some missiles over to Brian DeGrace. I'm guessing about that Sid 15 of 15. All right, here we go. 
Next up, coming up right now, how about a, oh my goodness, Dallas Star, Sean Heckman, Supreme Gold Patch Action, Mural Haskinen. If that doesn't wake you up, I don't know what will as far as the patches go. Sean Heckman picked up the Dallas Stars, Mural Haskinen, numbered 6 of 15, buddy. Buddy, man. So here's the deal, buddy. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered if I would have held back your package today or not to put these cards in it. I'm gonna have to send you a new one anyway because none of these cards, this wouldn't, have, these cards wouldn't have fit in the package the way you're going. Sean Heckman, that is a beaut. As far as supreme patches go, look at the centering on that. You got a little bit of the Dallas going on. You got more than 60% of the logo there. Miro Haskinen, an elite player, elite defenseman for the Stars. How about that? How about that? You got to tell the, 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 I believe it's your wife about that one. Tell Stars, uh, put Tyler Sagan on pause, bud. Uh, Miro Haskinen's running the show tonight. Six of 15. My goodness. Wow. Bad. Next card. Fourth card coming out. How about the Islanders showing up? Pat LaFontaine going to the mini, going to Tommy Holmesberger. Number 85 out of 99, Tommy Holmesberger taking that one home. Spreading the wealth across all facets of the mini tonight. I think we've gone so far, uh, what have we gone, like 135, 1345? Oh, what a beaut piece of history. We just pulled, a, I think, a Yager piece of history last night. And uh, now we got a we got a Pat LaFontaine. Let me get this in a get this actually into not going to fit in a seventy five. So we're going to step it up and put her. Look how nicely she slides into a one hundo. Beauty, beauty. Tommy Holmesberger. There you go. Eighty five and ninety nine. Here's a beauty for you. Cool. Fifth card, third box. Oh baby. Justin Connor, Nathan McKinnon, All-Star Weekend. You got a jersey and a banner action going on there. Look at this beauty. Justin Connor, the Avs are now in the house. Had to get them started sometime. Let's start them now. Third box, that's a good time for the Avs to show up, if you're asking me. Get that in a big old sleeve. A little, little one hundo action. Nathan McKinnon. Absolute beaut. Justin Connor taking a stab at the abs tonight. How about that? And, excuse me, last card coming out. Box number three, you break 152. Number 19 for the Calgary Flames, Matthew Kachuk. Matthew Kachuk going to Sean Heckman as well. Sean Heckman all over this break tonight. All over this break tonight. Oh, wow. Matthew Kachuk jersey card coming out of SP Game Used. There's a beaut right there. Right there, bud. All right, let's review box three. Matthew Kachuk jersey card. Nathan McKinnon jersey and banner. We got a Pat LaFontaine for the uh, New York Islanders. Push into the mini. Amiro Haskinen, absolute beauty, supreme patch. Scott Sabarin. Authentic Rookies in a Barkov, little variant, number three of 275. Super cool veteran base card there. All right, 10 seconds, I'm going to get a drink. We're going. Oh, you know Montreal's not done yet. Montreal, for 1920, has got such a high population of cards. It's unbelievable. They always show up, and they show up in droves, too. It's like a whole car... Whole truck of them will bring bring on through. Here we go. Whole bunch of people watching this break tonight. And don't forget, folks, our referral program's going on for another five days. Five days ends the 15th at midnight. Uh, tell your friends. Get them in this group. And I know that a lot of people think that that brings an unwanted competition for the slots you'd be coveting, but it really helps out because uh, we don't have issues with inventory. Like some some other places might, and I'm not I'm not saying they do or don't. I'm saying they might. 
but we have such a large inventory and a, and a, and a capitalized inventory here in stock that I can keep the brakes going as fast as you guys want them. So as we grow this group, now it's just over two. I think it's about we're about two fifteen right now. As we get towards three three fifty four, that's the sweet spot where we can start doing double, triple, quadruple breaks a day. And you guys get the teams you want back to back to back where you don't have to miss your team in the wait a week for it to show up again. No, no, no. Let's keep going. Let's let's grow it. Get about a, we get another hundred members in this group. And uh, that's the sweet spot where we're going to I think everybody's going to be real happy. Now, that's just my analytics side looking at it. Uh, but I want to be able to give you guys as much as we possibly can as fast as you guys can, uh, you know, have the appetite to support it. Um, and uh, I feel like. That's right about the 285 to 320 number uh, in this group is the sweet spot uh, for what you guys are looking at so far. That's a nice, thick, juicy pack. Empty box, box four. Uh, but that referral program is going on for another five days. So tell your friends uh, and we'll get them approved and I'll get you marked down for referring them. Every three referrals get you a, a spot in the drawing and every referral, single referral, that they go into a break within 24 hours for their first break, get you three picks, which gets you an automatic placement into that drawing. And uh, there's going to be some good competition for that one. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's going to be good. $50 break credit right off the top for the first, first slot on that one. All right, box number four, SB Game Use. Oh yeah, Preds would be nice. I love the Preds. Everybody loves the Preds. Let's do it. Card one of box four. Coming out right now, Nathan McKinnon going to Justin Connerth. There's another abs hit, 205 out of 275. Nathan McKinnon again. I wonder if that's fore foretelling what's coming. Who knows? My crystal ball doesn't work on hockey cards. No, it doesn't work on anything, actually. <laughs> but let's see. That's two McKinnons in a very short amount of time. Let's see what we got here. How about a Joachim Nygaard? There's an Oilers, Oilers pickup for Jennifer. There's the first one of the night. My wife picking up an Joachim Nygaard, 277 to 293 base card. Uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oilers are in the house. Next up. This could be a good one, folks. Buckle up. I'm pulling it right now. Ooh. For the Sabres. How about a Corey Rodriguez picking up a 19 out of 35 Rasmus Osplund? Rasmus Osplund for the Sabres. Draft day marks. Corey Rodriguez. Welcome to the hit club tonight, bud. That is a good one. Look at that signature. Oh my goodness, Corey Rodriguez. Let's get that wrapped up in a nice little 180 for you. 180. Boom! Corey Rodriguez, take a look. 19 of 35. Bingo, bud. Very, very nice. All right. We got another big old thick heavy card coming up next. What is it going to be? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, that is a beautiful patch. And it's going to the Jets. It's going to the Jets. Blake Wheeler, one, two, at least a tricolor patch there. Let's pull the serial number and take a look. Judges, the jury says it's 12 of 35, which means it's going to Brad Garner. How about an all-star all -star skills fabrics for Blake Wheeler? Blake Wheeler, that is a heavy card. That patch must weigh a fortune. Blake Wheeler, Brad Gardner, picking that one up. One, two of three, five. Brad Gardner. Butte, buddy. Corey says, I need that card. I know, Corey, you collect the Jets. The Jets, I saw that sick patch you posted up earlier today. That one is a monster. Monster. Here's another one. All-star skills. Two more to go in this box. How about a Clayton Keller again? I believe that's going to Ray Rangel as usual. Clayton Keller All-Stars, another All-Star Skills Fabrics, this time individual player, a vertical variant, uh, 2019 NHL All-Star Skills Fabrics going to 
Ray Rangel on behalf of Clayton Keller for the Coyotes. Get that box or uh, sleeved up for you. Top loaded. Top loaded for the Coyotes. Ray Rangel. Corey, you need to jump all over that bad boy. We'll take a better look at it here in a second as soon as we finish pulling out. How about another Coyotes hit for Ray Rangel? There's a Phil Kessel, Mr. Hot Dogs himself, showing his new sweater with the Coyotes. Phil Kessel jersey card. Ray Rangel pulling a bunch out of this box. Absolute beaut. Fourth box of game use. Not disappointing. Phil Kessel going to Ray Rangel. Clayton Keller going to Ray Rangel. Rasmus Asplund going to Corey Rodriguez. Blake Wheeler. Look at this beauty. Look at these two buttes side by side out of the same box. What a good box that bad boy turned out to be. Take a look at the back there. Absolute beauty for Blake Wheeler. And Joachim Nygaard going to Jennifer Putnam. And a Nathan McKinnon, little veteran rainbow variant, going to Justin Connor. All right, folks, 30 seconds, and we're back for box numero cinco. And we're back for box number five before we get into this spicy little mamma jamma back there. Box five, here it is. I love it. Lots of talk going on. We need some leaves, I hear. Let's see what we can do about that. Let's get some leaves, huh? There's no way we're going to go through five boxes of Black Diamond without the maple leaves showing up. That's almost impossible. So let's see if we can get some. Let's get some. Let's get some more wealth spread around. SP game used last bag of SP game used for this break. And then we're moving into the sealed inner. Everybody knows what that means. Inner odds inside of that bad boy. There's going to be some inner odds taking place. Let's get this lined up right there. Box five SP game used. Let's do it. You got me in the big screen. How's the quality? How's the quality? We've got it. Uh, I think we're broadcasting in 1080 to kind of keep the good balance between the stream quality because 4K, we could do 4K. My goodness, does it suck up the bandwidth. And we've got one gig red internet up here in Alaska, uh, which I think realistically means it's running about 250 gig GB uh, or, uh, or whatever it is. It's a ter I think it's a terabyte line, but we've, we, you know, realistically, we only do about a quarter of that. But I think we're running 1080. Should look pretty good on the big screen, Ray. You let me know how it looks. <sighs> Let's see what we can get done for box number five of SP Game Use. I'm excited for this and excited to get into Black Diamond. Here we go. First card coming out of box five. Well, there's a Lightning, card of Hog For the Lightning, 53 of 295. That's going to the Mini. That's going to Curtis Warner. Curtis Warner picks up that hit. Tampa Bay Lightning go to the mini. Carter Verhag. Carter Verhag going to the mini. Going to Curtis Warner. Curtis Warner picking up a few hits out of the mini tonight. Going right down the line. Very nice. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ray. Next up, second. There's another Blue Jackets. A Jacob Leija. Oh. Oh, baby. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Somebody, somebody, somebody vouch for me. Tell me if I'm saying this wrong. But I'm going to say this is a true, authentic rookie. Oh, Jamie Marente, you want to hang on to this card. That is five out of five. Tell me uh, what that means, but I'm pretty sure this means it's a true, true to the name, authentic rookie for Jacob Lija. It's a five out of five. That is a heck of a pull right there. 
I know it doesn't look like it, but my goodness, that is a great poll right there. Somebody chime in who knows a little more about these checklists than I do. I'm going to, I think Brandon, Brandon, are you still here? If you're still here, buddy, uh, a Brandon can vouch. He, he probably knows a lot more about these checklists than I do. That's a five out of five. Jacob Legia for the Blue Jackets right there. Going to Jamie Marentate. Yeah, it might even. That is huge. Absolutely. Uh, that is a sick card. For as simple as it looks, that is actually a very big deal. I'm not sure. I thought the true rookies, the true authentic rookies were numbered to the jersey as well. But that one went to five. And that is five of five. So Jamie Marentate, you just got a huge pull, buddy. Man, what what are they calling that? If it's not a true rookie, what are they calling that? Like a limited true or something? I don't even know. I don't even know what I'd call that. Five of five. Because there was a little... I saw a little bit of the debate earlier today on a, on a car just like this. And it was the same thing. It was numbered to like eight or 12 or something. But the dude's jersey number was like 18 or 22. Uh, can't remember the player was for, but holy smokes. Like the debate was like 60 or 70 posts long trying to figure out what's up with this card. But the bottom line is, uh, I think the true rookie is going to be to 15, and this is to five. So that's a sick card right there. Yeah, Corey, I, I think it might even have been your post, buddy, wasn't it? Like, there was like 60 or 70 posts after it, people trying to figure out. True rookie black, Brandon says true rookie, rookie black. Yeah, let's take a hard, let's take a better look at this. It's a little, it's a sneaky. It's like a sleeper card. Yep, you're right. There is black. I think Brandon, I knew Brandon would know the answer. He's a super smart dude. He knows his stuff. Uh, look at that. Yeah, it's black. It's got black written all over it. And it, but it's just, it's like a sleeper card. It just doesn't, it doesn't tell you anything about it, but you know, that's a big deal. Numbered out of five. True rookie black. There we go. That sounds good. I'll call it a true rookie black. I'm with Brandon on that one. Yeah. How about that? Somebody needs to tag Jamie. Is Jamie in here? I thought he was in here, but holy smokes, that's a good card. Wow, what a hit. What a hit. Next card coming up, card three out of this box. There's a Brady Keeper for the Panthers. Brady Keeper for the Panthers. Brady Keeper for the Panthers going to the mini. An auto blue authentic rookie going to the mini. And there is another one for Jamie Marentate. It is a non-serialized card going to Jamie Marentate. Along with that beauty, Jacob Legion, that he just pulled. That 11 slot is very lucrative tonight. Look at that. Brady Keeper for the Panthers. Pushes the mini. No serial. Goes to Jamie Marentate. True rookie black. I'm on board with that. All right. Card number four out of the last box SPX. Here it is. Patrice Bergeron, banner year for the Bruins. Larry Resch, the Colonel. Picking up a Patrice Bergeron from the Winter Classic. Beauty. Patrice Bergeron. Bruins are now in the house as well. Lots of teams hitting tonight. I love it when everybody hits. Everybody hits. Beauty. Next up, card number five. Box number five. For the Lightning, Steven Stamkos. All-Star Skills Fabrics from the 2019 All-Star Skills Competition. Blue jersey card. Going to the mini. No serial number. Takes it to Jamie Marentate again. That number 11 slot is very... Very good tonight. As usual, it is. I know people fight over it. I think that's why actually a lot of people join the mini is to have a chance to pull that number 11 slot because it is always pushing out cards. Jonathan Gerber, don't forget, bud. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. Here we go. Blue Jackets. Cole Sherwood. So I'm going to say that this is solid in it's Jamie Marentate's box. 594 to 599. Right winger for the Blue Jackets. It's a jersey, a little gold jersey card, authentic rookies. 
Jamie Marantate takes that one home as well. So this is a solid Jamie Marantate box right here. Solid Jamie Marantate box. Get that in a little thicker. We're going to push up to 100 easily. All right. Cole Sherwood, Steve Stamkos, Patrice Bergeron, Banner Year, Brady Keeper, Authentic Blue Auto, Jacob Leja, super crazy. We'll call it a black true rookie five of five, five, and a Carter Verhog to 295. And that rounds out box number five of SP Game Used. All right, folks, here it is. Before we take a little 30 second break, I'm going to cut this box open, sealed inner in front of the crowd here. Everybody, ooh and ah, ooh and ah, here it is. Black Diamond, our bread and butter this year, our most popular and most coveted, most on demand product of this year so far is Black Diamond. 1920 sealed inner. Here it is. Empty box. As you can see, throwing it off the side. I'm going to lay them out as we usually do. I need you guys to know we're going to take a 30 to 45 second break before we get started. And I need everybody to chime in and tell me left to right or right to left. Let's go. Looks like we got two right to lefts, a left to right. One more right to left gets us home. We got two right to lefts and one left to right. First one of three wins. Yeah, Jamie Marantate. Very good box for you, buddy. Uh, oh, two to two. Next vote wins. Jamie, you got to do a little research on that Blue Jackets card. Five of five, buddy. Uh, there's something special about that. Right to left takes it. Tommy Holmesberger. Yep. Ralph Mouth chimes in. We're going right to left. We are going right to left. It's official. All right. Yeah. Do a little research. Man, that card is that card is rare. I can tell you that right now. That card is rare. It just feels rare. It's gonna be a good one, buddy. Right to left. There we go. There's your first box of Black Diamond, folks. Let's get after it. Huh? Who's ready? Give me a thumbs up in the chat. We'll get cutting open. Cutting open. Don't forget, folks. Finally, Jim Putnam is here. I like his changing for the better. Uh, what? Is she, unless she chimed in from her run. Uh, is she not here? Sounds like we're ready to go on this black diamond though, huh? So rare, I think there are only five in the world. Yeah, I'm 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 with you on that one, Ralph. I, I think you're correct. I checked my calculations, but yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get going. Black diamond time. All right, here we go. Here we go, folks. Don't forget, we got 153. Needs to close out. I think there's 14, 15, maybe 16 teams left. And it's a good one, too. I'm thinking you, uh, nobody's chimed in and told me what they want next yet, but I'm thinking we maybe uh, do a little, uh, how's Black Diamond? And uh, what do you guys think about a 10 box or a Black Diamond in SPX? How's that sound? I know we talked about it last night, but what if we actually did it? I know I kind of, I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I actually forgot about it today when I posted that six boxer. So, I got two options ready to go right now, sitting over on the shelf before I have to get creative and start building stuff out of the out of the sealed inners. We can do a we can do a 10 boxer, black diamond, and SPX. I'll do it. I gotta cut open some inners for it, but I'll do it. Or that would that would include one sealed inner, black diamond. Obviously, I gotta cut open an inner of SPX, but I'll just pull I'll pull half out. So we'll go, we'll say the, the left uh, per orientation. 
So a 10 boxer total of SPX or Black Diamond, or do you want another triple threat? Or not triple threat, three squared. Three squared. Three boxes of game use, three boxes of SPX, three boxes of Black Diamond. You guys let me know. Talk about it amongst yourselves. And let's do it. 15, 16 Black Diamond Master. Ooh. Man, I've got to break out the black card for that one. Get that one on the move. Let me, uh, let me check. Oh, so she says, I'm here. My wife says she's here. She said, I thought she was on a run. Maybe she's listening, listening in as we, as we go. This is great. So she's out on a 6K run with my son. Uh, and I'm here doing a break for you guys. And uh, somehow we're putting it together, getting Hayden a, what's that, milkshake? It must be done already. Okay. Good for them. That was a quick run. Or maybe we're just taking forever because I love talking to you guys so much. How about that? Let's do it. 10 boxer, black diamond. We got that. Ralph says no for SPX. I don't know. Don't let Steve know that. He's chasing something in there. Let's get this black diamond up on a stand. Five cards per pack for that. Oh, it's so heavy. It's knocking over the stand. Look at that. Oh, I got to take a sip. Let me take a little drink here. Let's get going. Hayden's getting a milkshake. You guys are getting some hits. What a great night for a Wednesday night. It's hump day, and we're breaking cards in Alaska. What a great group you guys have put together here. I appreciate every one of you. This is fantastic. Exquisite has been great lately. Let's make it great. Times five times over tonight. We got five exquisite packs about to happen. Let's see what we got. Here's your first exquisite pack of that sealed black diamond inner we just opened. Exquisite rookie. 53, pulling it down. How about a Tara Hirose for the Red Wings going to Cynthia Antonio? Cute. Numbered to 249. It is gold foil numbered 59 of 249. Left winger, exquisite rookie for the Red Wings. Going to Cynthia Antonio tonight. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, you want you want a milkshake? I don't even know where they're getting it. My guess is some sort of do we she'll have to chime in if she's listening, which it sounds like she is listening, which is fantastic, because we're like four or five miles apart from each other right now. An opposite sides of Eagle River, Alaska. It's like a radio show. I love it. It's not even a podcast or a you know, a group cast anymore. It's like a radio show with callers and everything. It's fantastic. Uh, but I don't know that we have any premium <laughs> milkshake uh, vendors here in, uh, in Alaska. So maybe she's going to like Wendy's to get a Frosty or something. Who knows? We do have a Wendy's here in Alaska or in Eagle River, Alaska. A little, little mountain town just north of Anchorage. All right, Black Diamond. Who's excited? I'm so excited. This is a super thick pack. Super thick pack. What is it going to have? What is it going to have? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got, yeah, we got some options. We got some options. Here we go. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. I love Black Diamond. It makes me, mm, I get so anxious for Black Diamond because everything is always so good, but there's so many possible good cards that could come out. It's just beautiful. Let's see what we got. How about card number one? Let's do it right now. Coming up right now for the Blues. Jennifer Lewis, there you go. Vladimir Tarasenko, Black Diamond Base, 106 to 249. 106 to 249, Vladimir Tarasenko. Nice. Let's see if we can get that in a 75-pointer. Vladimir Tarasenko, number 91 for the Blues, going to Jennifer Lewis. Very, very nice. Next up, coming out right now, it's going to Cam Atkinson. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, gold foil, gold pen, authentic signature for Cam Atkinson, numbered, that's right, folks, 99 of 99. Jamie Marintate, you are having a beautiful night tonight. Beautiful night. Holy smokes. I thought you were upset that you didn't hit your leaves, but my goodness, you picked some good teams to wrap up this break with. Uh, man, 99 of 99 going to Cam Atkinson for the Blue Jackets. Solid. 
Yes, sir, 99. That's right. That's it. Last print. Number one, number 99, and then obviously number 13 for Cam Adkinson would be the highly desirable. Number three, and you got one of them. 99 of 99. They shut down the press after that one was printed. Ooh, baby. Good cards coming out tonight. Next up, card number three. Capo Caco rookie team logo jumbo for the Rangers. Larry Resch, the Colonel. Larry Resch. Black Diamond, Capo Caco, Team Logo Jumbo. Absolute beauty. Look how pretty that bad boy is, right in the heart of the Rangers logo. Capo Caco, going to Larry Resch. Jamie is crushing this break tonight. Next up, New York Rangers again, Brad Park. We got a Hall of Fame gold ring variant for Brad Park, defenseman, 1988 Hall of Fame for the New York Rangers. Larry Resch takes another one. That is the gold variant of the ring card. Going to Larry Resch, Mr. Brad Park, 1988 Hall of Famer, the New York Rangers. Bingo. Beauty. Very, very nice card. How about that? How about that? Let's see what we got for the last card coming out right now. Black Diamond. Victor Olofsson. Rookie gem variant, 59-99. Corey Rodriguez. Corey Rodriguez. Coming in late this afternoon and picking up. The Buffalo Sabres, couple hits tonight so far, and we're not done yet. First box of Black Diamond taking a rookie gem variant. Look at the shine on that card. They made a beautiful, beautiful design decision with this one this year. Very nice. Corey Rodriguez, nice, bud. Very nice. All right. Let's go. Victor Olofsson. Brad Park Hall of Fame Gold Ring, Capo Caco, Team Logo Jumbo, Cam Atkinson, 99 of 99, Gold Pen Auto, Tarasenko, 106 out of 249, and a Tara Hirose Exquisite Collection of Rookie Card. Starting the Black Diamond strong tonight. Strong, folks. Wrong. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ralph Mouth is looking for some hits. About time we we pulled some uh, we pulled some leaves out, huh? Get some leaves going. Squizzit. Oh, that feels like a good one. There's a little bit of a variant there. Might be a patch. Oh, that could be good. And we got a suit. Oh. All right, folks. We've done this. We did this last night, and we ended up pulling a Teddy Bluger single diamond, but this pack is very, very heavy. It's extremely heavy, like too heavy. So let's see. Let's get into it. Let's pull out this exquisite and see what we got within the exquisite, because we do that first, and we are all about routine and tradition around here in Bad Yorkie Card Breaks. Try to keep it consistent for you guys. Predictable. That's what you. That's what everybody likes. Predictability. But that black diamond pack right there is extremely heavy. Extremely heavy. So let's see what the exquisite has for us. How about a Barrett Hayton Ray Wrangle one eleven out two ninety nine exquisite dual color patch. Oh, that is a beauty. I am telling you. Officially, that is an absolute beaut. I, uh, Ray Rangel, you should be pretty thrilled with that one. Uh, so much so, I can tell you right now, and this is no joke, I have one of these sitting in my eBay watch list right now with a sniped bid to go against it. Because I love this card so much. That is a phenomenal card right there. 111 out of 299 for Barrett Hayton. Ray Rangel getting a Barrett Hayton 
exquisite. I love the look of those cards. Those exquisite rookie patch cards this year. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon says he needs some hits. I don't know. You want me to pull you some sabers? Because like, if I do, there, I'm gonna, unfortunately, I'm going to have to mail them to Corey. I got to mail them to Corey if they hit. This pack is heavy. I don't know what this means. We'll find out here in about 10 seconds. But this is a very heavy pack. Like, it's, it's physically heavy. And I'm going to peek inside. Oh, yep, folks. Okay. All right. Buckle up, folks. Everybody sit down. Get your drink. We're going to take a second because look what I got here. Yep, you see it. I see it. We know what it is. We know what it could be. Pretty good chance. Bad York card breaks, folks. Uh, yeah, that's going to be... There, there's something special coming up. I knew it. They're the, the packs that have... Those possibilities in him are heavier than the others. Hayden weighs him. You've seen him. He goes and picks him up. He loves doing it because he can, he can tell. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Who's ready? We got to get through some cards before we get to it. Here's the first one coming up right now. Let's see what we got. For the Sharks, Eric Carlson, 63 to 249. You know that's going to Justin Connerth. Justin Connerth, right there. Eric Carlson, 63 of 249. Sounds like Jenny and Hayden might have just gotten home. Maybe they'll be joining us. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, Hayden's sprinting down the stairs. Here he is. But look at this. Look what we're about to get into. You see it? Yeah. What could it be? Could be a diamond. Could be a diamond. Could be something else. One diamond Jack Hughes. That's I don't know. We already, we already got one of those this year. It could be anything. could be anything. All right. Who's ready? Give me a thumbs up that you're ready and we'll rip it. Quad We're going to rip it open. Jack Hughes. Qu it could be Quad Diamond anybody. Quad Matthews. Yeah, it could be a Quad McDavid for Jennifer. Who knows? Give me a thumbs up and we'll pull it. You know it's sitting under there. It's about to melt that top card. We got a big one about to come out, babe. How was oh, the run? Man. Good? Yeah. Wet. <laughs> Here it is. Ring. Might be a diamond card. Might be something else. Who knows? Jack Hughes, Jack Hughes, Jack Hughes. Pulling it right now. Ooh. Ryan Paling, triple diamond. Sean Heckman. You called it. Triple diamond. 54 of 99 for Ryan Paling. Sean Heckman. It's very heavy. I'll get, let me get in a sleeve and you can, you can feel exactly how heavy it is. We're going to know exactly how heavy it is when we have to Put it in a priority mail, uh, priority box, just to afford to be able to send it to him. It's so heavy. For the Habs. Hi, Jonathan Gerber. <laughs> for the Habs. Who's that heavy? Sean Heckman. Triple Diamond. Ryan Paling, buddy. Good night. Look at that. Triple Diamond. Habs. Triple diamond. <laughs> Whoa, we still got some cards to pull in this box. Let's see what's next. How about for the Ducks? Jacob Silverberg going to the mini and going to Jamie Marintate with no serial number on it. We got the whole family. Are you cold? Are you wet? It's a little chilly now that we're down here. Oh, yeah, with the air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez. Just got back from the run and it was rainy, I'm assuming. Rainy. It was rainy. Jacob Silverberg going to Jamie Marintate. Another one to Jamie Marintate. And fun. That's right. He even says, and fun. Good. Glad you had fun. All right. All right. Next card, card five of Black Diamond. Oh, wow. Look at that. Patrick Waugh. 72 and 99 for the Avalanche. Justin Connor. I thought that was two diamonds in one box. <laughs> Maybe. Black Diamond could surprise you. Patrick Waugh for Colorado. There we go. Another Colorado hit moving to Justin Connor. Pretty. We are, we are unfortunately taking our time with this break tonight because I've done a lot of talking. Yeah? <laughs> We've done a lot of stream chatting with uh, everybody else. Fun. A lot of comments. Skunk bonus. <laughs> Here we go. Last card. Looks like it's maybe a ring card. How about for the Flames? Joel Niewendijk. For the Flames, Sean Heckman takes another one. 
Calgary Flames. Don't worry, we've got three boxes of Black Diamond. Not, it's not skunk calling time yet. Black Diamond can surprise anybody. Joe Neuendike for the Flames going to Sean Heckman. Another one for him. All right, we got that. We got Justin Connor taking a Patrick Waugh. A little triple Black Diamond normal variant, $72.99. Absolute beauty right there, Colorado. Diamond Relic. Jersey card, Jacob Silverberg. Eric Carlson for Justin Connorth as well. Barrett Hayton, one of the most beautiful, exquisite rookie patches I've ever seen. And then we got this bad boy. A throwback for the Canadians. 54 of 99, triple. Yeah, that's right. Compressed, compressed carbon action. Hayden wants to test, test it. I, I knew it. As soon as we pulled the pack, I knew it because it was so heavy. He, oh, just, he knew too. We pulled in the drive. He's like, hurry up. Open the garage door. Hurry up. I gotta get in there. Hurry <laughs> gotta up. Gotta get in there. <laughs> Can you show me that? Gotta get in Can there. Can you show me that gold ring card? Okay. Which one? The one you got, the golden ring. For somebody else? Yeah. Not for us. I know, like the one you pulled. Golden ring. Uh, yeah. TV timeout for Hayden to take a look real quick. That one? Ooh. Brad Park? Yeah. That one's going to uh, Larry Resch, the Colonel. Box three. Here it is. Let's do it. Box three. Box three. If you guys are feeling uh, feeling like the Leafs aren't showing up enough, um, hopefully we can help you out in the next three boxes we got going right now. But don't forget, we got break 152. And I'm still waiting for somebody to chime in and tell me what you want next. Whether you want a, uh, a a three squared break, three of each of our big three, or if you want me to throw up a black diamond slash a, a ten box or a black diamond and SPX, or we just want to go black diamond pure with maybe a couple sealed inners or a sealed master, uh, you let me know. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. So far, the Oilers have pulled a base card, but not oh. a base. It's, it's still a hit, but it's not a base. It's a Nothing special. Like we'd like to see some Oilers show up tonight, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. All right, next up, first card, third box, black diamond. Here it comes. Oh, I kind of did it backwards here. I guess I did. I forgot about the exquisite patch for the box. Well, there you go. Okay, so here's one for the wild. Going to the mini, uh, Mike Gardner for the Coyotes. Oh, that's not going to the mini. I'm sorry. I thought that was a wild. That's going to Ray Wrangle. Yeah, that's coyotes. Not coyotes. Coyotes? Coyotes? Same thing. I thought that was I actually thought that was a wild jersey there for a second. It's not. It's a Mike Gardner for the Coyotes. Going to Ray Wrangle. So here we go. We're gonna shift gears a little bit here because I uh Right after you just gave that whole speech about consistency. Yeah, I know, right? Here. Okay. <laughs> well, here we go. All right. Maybe this will bring the leaves to the table. Changing up the battle rhythm a little bit. Down the car. So here, oh, guess what we're gonna need though? Because we got this covered up. I'm going to have to use a BCW card thickness gauge as a decoy. <laughs> it's bad karma, no doubt. Wait. No bad juju? Oh, no. No bad juju. I don't think it's going to be bad juju at all. I think what we're going to see is we're going to pull some sick cards. I think it's in the car. Too much talking, I think. I'm guessing the car. You think so? Here we go. Card thickness point gauge running as the decoy. Let's slide it up and see what we got. We got an exquisite collection rookie Nick Suzuki for the Habs. 25 of 299. That's going to Sean Heckman as well. That's not a bad one to pull at all. I don't think we've uh, bounced out of our rhythm at all with pulling a Nick Suzuki exquisite rookie right off the bat there. That's going to the Habs. Habs, I'm telling you, folks. I say it every time when they go to the mini. The Habs always produce. I don't know why they go to the mini. They always produce cards. Here we go. Next up, second card, Black Diamond, Joel Farabee. Joel Farabee. Sean Heckman again. And yes, folks, look what we got here. One of 99 silver on black rookie signatures edition. Is that his number? 
No, but it's the first one off the press. It's the first one, the last one in the jersey number are the most sought after. And that is one of 99. That is the first one off the press. Beauty. One of 99. Would it be cool if we got a diamond? Sean Heckman. Would it be cool if we got a diamond 97 out of 99? <laughs> that would be, huh? Next up. Pulling it live. Jewels of the draft for the Sabres. Ooh. Corey Rodriguez. What are you thinking now? Are you think we're you think we went out of rhythm or you think this is gonna be okay? Jewels of the draft, 37 to 99, tricolor patch auto for the Sabres. Corey. Rodriguez, look at that crazy hit. There's a beauty right there for you, buddy. Congratulations. I think uh, I think the karma has, uh, is, is going to be okay with us tonight. Look at that. Jewels of the draft. Oh, it's a beauty. No, but it's a, that's a, a, one of my most favorite design cards of this year. Victor Olofsson. No more shining stars idea. Yeah. 37 of 99. Wow, is right. Wow is right. Next up, fourth card. Senators. Senators. Push into the mini. Eric Brandstrom, Diamond Debut Relics. Number seven, Sean Heckman again. Sean Heckman again. Picking up a Diamond Debut Relic for the Senators. Outstanding. Mini is hot tonight. All over the board. We wouldn't have been able to send all these cards that you've got, bud, tonight in that package today. The box wasn't big enough. I'd have to send a second box anyway. So, holy smokes. I haven't gotten, to a, I haven't gotten a card that is numbered 1,999 as number three. Yeah. What'd you say? 1,099? Oh, yeah? That'd be a lot. <laughs> Last up for the third box of Black Diamond, New York Rangers, Capo Caco Diamond Cutter, Larry Resch, pulling a Capo Caco Diamond Cutter. Oh my goodness. That was a... Okay. Are you... Uh, yeah, you probably should have warm up a bit, huh? Larry Resch, Diamond Cutter. Super sought after cards of a great player right now. Capo Caco, Eric Brandstrom, Diamond Debut Relic, Victor Olofsson, Jewels of the Draft, 37 to 99. Joel Therapy, number one out of 99. Wow. Nick Suzuki, Rookie Exquisite, and a Mike Gardner for the Oats. Add that to the pile of awesome hits back there, and let's get into box number four here in 15 <laughs> seconds. He's picked up some, he's had some Coyote hits tonight. That Barrett Hayden was pretty cool. That exquisite Barrett Hayden. That's a, that's a pretty sick card. I told him, like, that's a card we actually have on our eBay watch list right now. We're looking for one. That's a, that's a good looking card. <clears throat> for Hayden's PC, we were looking to add in one of those to Hayden's PC because uh, I keep looking at the Barrett Hayden we have, Pride of a Nation, and uh, I, I really, really like it. And I like how he played this year. That's a, that's a, Thick pack, my goodness. Empty box, black diamond. Here we go, exquisite. Let's get after it. Exquisite bonus pack. Here it is, 1920 black diamond. Still waiting on people to tell us what we what, what they want to see next. We got to get another breakup. We do two, two at once, two at a time. I mean, I guess we could, we'll probably wait till tomorrow morning to post it. Let uh, 153. Get a couple more teams. Hopefully, we can push it to a mini real soon. Get it opened up. Here we go. Oh my goodness! There we go, babe. How about a Connor McDavid for Jennifer? She's here. One fifty-three out of two ninety-nine. Jennifer Putnam hitting a Connor McDavid exquisite base. This is my birthday one, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was the one that uh, that one particular former group member had an issue with and we really do appreciate everybody coming to her defense on that one we just simply went to pick up uh, the oilers for her birthday yes uh, or two days ago and uh somebody somebody decided to go off the rockers on it but uh 
Yeah. 10 Black Diamond. I think I, we're getting a lot of pulls for Black Diamond, it sounds like. I think we can do something with Black Diamond. I like the Black Diamond. Everybody, yeah, we love the Black Diamond. Here comes the fourth pack of Black Diamond. Oh, hold, it, hold on, folks. Buckle up. Everybody buckle up. Look what we got here. Does everybody see it? As I do. I'm sitting right in front of it. I see it. Here we go again. Another black card. Goodness. Man, that'd be two and one inner. What are the odds of that? Two and one inner. Yeah, a lot of people watching tonight. Alaska house. Yeah, I want Ralph to stay. I do want Ralph to stay in the group. I do. She is thick, and there's some some black border presence sitting down in this one, folks. Let's get going on it. Let's see what we got. Off the top, how about a Jake Gensel for the Penguins? Brian DeGrace, 78 of 249. Jake Gensel. Jake Gensel for the Penguins. Coming out right away. Penguins making a stand. We'll see what comes next. Oh, I guess I get excited about these black bars. I think it's going to be a cream patch. 25 or 35. Could be. Could be. Could be. Next up, coming out right now, Philip Zadina. Cynthia Antonio. There's a Zadina 77 to 199. Little shadow rookie gem for you. That's a cool looking card. Zadina. Cynthia Antonio for the Red Wings. Not a bad one at all, Philip Zadina. All right, and before we go any further, I got to reload our top loader to the hundreds. Got another one ready to go right there. <clears throat> for the hundreds. All right, we got a big old thick card before we get to the black card. Let's see what it is. How about a rookie team logo jumbo for Owen Nolan for the Sharks? Justin Connor. There you go. Black Diamond Team Logo Jumbo. Owen Nolan. Owen Nolan. Sharks are good tonight. You sharks we pulled tonight. Owen Nolan. Team Logo Jumbo. The San Jose Sharks. Get that in a stand right there. And all right, folks. Here it is. Card number four out of box number four. Go figure. Here it is. A black card coming again, and it is going to be a Mike Madano premium relic, quad color premium relic for the Dallas Stars. Sean Heckman, 8 of 25. Look at that beautiful card right there. Absolute beautiful card for the Dallas Stars. Of all the teams for you to pull it tonight, bud. We were just talking about the stars right before this break. Sean Heckman. All over this one. Dallas Stars and Mike Madano. 8 of 25. Look at that patch. Beautiful, isn't it? it is. It's Gorgeous. absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. That is a beautiful card. Last card, fourth box of Black Diamond on this break. Let's go this way. Looking for a Dallas Stars again. How about another Mike Madonna? We know that's going to Sean Heckman as well. Another Mike Madonna. Two Mike Madonnas back to back. They come in pairs. Two Mike Madonnas. This one is going to be a 2014 Hall of Fame ring card for Mike Madonna. So we've got that. And we got this premium relic. Team Logo Jumbo for Justin Connorth going to the Sharks. Philip Zadina, Cynthia Antonio, Jake Gensel. I believe that's Brian DeGrace. And Jennifer Putnam taking a little Connor McDavid exquisite base. Not too bad. Last box, folks. Let's get after it. One off from the number. So that Mike Madonna, is that what it was? Let me take a look. Ooh. Ooh, it was. Just one off from the number. Good catch, Corey. 
Final box of Black Diamond as we, we're on an hour and a half for this break. I, I did way too much talking. <laughs> Nobody said anything, though. <laughs> Nobody said don't talk so much. Hour and a half on this 10 boxer. Hour and a half. Nobody, hopefully, nobody said, uh, said, said be quiet yet. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, exquisite pack. Fifth box. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Exquisite bonus pack. Black diamond fifth box. Here it is. Let's see what we got. It's a rookie. And it is a Kale McCarr. There's some Justin Connor with Kale McCarr action. Exquisite rookie. 200 of 249. Well done, Justin Connor. For the abs. Oh, that's a pretty card. Kale McCarr. Exquisite collection. Big ol' R. Rookie on that bad boy. Tells a good story on the back. Zero five Romeo, Charlie Mike, Hale McCarr. Nice, Justin Connor. All right, last black diamond pack of the break. Here we go, folks. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get out of this, this one right here. Oh, Black Diamond never disappoints. It's been such a good break so far. Let's keep it going. Let's get Ralph a hit. Let's get Ralph a hit. All right, here we go. Coming up right now. How about Eric Stahl for the Wild? Pushing to the mini. 187 goes to Sean Heckman again. 187 out of 249. Black Diamond base, Eric Stahl. That's a pretty cool card. We love Eric Stahl and his brothers. Very good players. Very, very good players. Let's get a nice little 100 out for you. There we go. Next up. Coming out right now is going to be... Oh, jeez. Justin Connor. How about a triple black diamond 58 on 99 Kale McCarr auto? Hmm. Justin Connorth, I think you made a really good choice tonight with the Avs, buddy. I know you were looking back and forth a little bit, kind of whether it was going to be the right decision or not, but holy smokes. How about a Kale McCarr, Black Diamond Retro, 58 of 99, auto. Holy smokes, that's a cool card. That's a big dollar card right there, folks. For the Avalanche. Wow. There, yeah, oh, he's here. There he is. There we go. Oh, what a beauty. Justin Connor. Congratulations. Third card coming out right now. Well, geez, Justin Connor. Going to follow it up again with another team logo jung jumbo. Evgeny Nab Nabokov. Nabokov. Evgeny Nabokov. Don't know much about this goalie, but I do know that is a beautiful patch. And that is the, uh, that's kind of the, the, almost the retro team variant of the, of the, of the Sharks. Justin Connor, you've locked this box in pretty good, buddy. Kale two Kale McCars, one is an auto, and then a Sharks team logo jumbo. Wow. Now your favorite goalie. Well, there you go, bud. <laughs> Here, here's a better look. Here's a better look for you. Nice little back on it. Yeah, you've hit some significant cards in the past few breaks, buddy. Wow. That's awesome. Congratulations. We're glad to help. Next up, coming out right now, how about a, for the Ducks, Max Jones going to Brad Gardner. Diamond debut relic. Max Jones going to Brad Gardner. Max Jones going to Brad Gardner. Black jersey, diamond debut relic. Oh, we are out of 180s. Cracking open another. This one is the uh, distributor actually told me yesterday they're out of 180s. So I had to put in an order to uh, order 10 more boxes of them. I actually have to order more. We're, we're going to blow through them going through all this black diamond. Love the 180s around here. Who's that? Nathan Degania? What does it say? Oh, okay. 
He must be talking about that uh, Jack Hughes auction he had up. Yep. All right, last card of the break. Here it is, folks. Black Diamond. For the Flyers, it's a Philip Myers. For the Flyers, Sean Heckman again, number four, 399, rookie gem. Rookie gem. This was a power, powerhouse of a break. Oh, my goodness. Powerhouse of a break. Philip Myers, four of 399. Max Jones, four of 349. Evgeny Nabokov, Team Logo Jumbo. Eric Stahl for the Wild, 187-249. Kale McCarr for the Avs, exquisite collection rookie. And my goodness, if we didn't disapp- did, didn't if this was box tried not to disappoint, pulled out a Kale McCarr, 58-99, Black Diamond Auto. Going to Justin Connor. What a great break. Thank you all for participating with us tonight. Uh, please let us know what you want to see next. I think I got some ideas of what everybody would like to see. Uh, otherwise, we're going to call it a night. Where are we at on time? Yeah, we're just over our curfew. Uh, wow. Oh, geez. All right, folks. Thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Have a good night.